So today we're going to talk about how fasting has the potential to kill cancer cells. Now, if you have cancer and you're not fasting, you're making a very big mistake because the power of fasting can create some serious damage to a cancer cell. Now, there's a very interesting study that I just read. I'll put a link down below that was looking at certain genes that were either expressed or suppressed by doing a 30-day fasting program. And what this group of people did is they fasted only between dawn and sunset, roughly about 15 hours for only 30 days. Certain genes will turn on cancer and certain genes will turn off cancer. For example, like this gene right here suppresses tumor cells in the liver, the cervix, and the lung. It was increased or enhanced by nine times. Here's another gene that normally suppresses liver cancer cells. It was enhanced by 14 times. Fasting has the ability to turn on cancer suppressor genes. It can also turn off, that means downregulate genes that express cancer. Fasting also enhances something called the natural killer cells and the T killer cells. Both of these cells work in different parts of the immune system, and their job is to kill viruses and kill cancer cells. Fasting will increase both of them. Fasting also causes autophagy. Autophagy is a condition where your body is recycling old damaged proteins, like in the DNA or the mitochondria, and recycling them into new tissue. Well, it just so happens that cancer originates with damage to the DNA and damage to the mitochondria. So if you can clean that out, you can decrease the risk of cancer. The more autophagy you have, the less cancer you're going to have. And autophagy is stimulated by fasting. All right, number five, fasting can increase resistance to chemotherapy. If you have cancer and you decide to do chemotherapy, well, guess what? A fast could help you resist the complications of chemo. Fascinating. So if you're going to fast, you want to try to fast as long as you can. But you also want to take nutrients as you fast. This is very, very important because if you're fasting for a long period of time, and let's say you're already deficient in nutrients, that can seriously create a weakness within your immune system. Just to make sure you want to take nutrients when you fast. As long as you're not taking any significant calories, you're going to get the benefit of fasting. And very soon, I'm going to release a video on probably one of the most amazing success stories that I've ever heard in my life. This should be the success story of the decade, where someone had stage four cancer and completely reversed it doing fasting. So stay tuned for that video coming up soon.